What's up, gang? Welcome to West Coast Wednesday. My name is Ms. Emily. This is Miss Megan. We are from West Coast Swing Online and Country Dance Online, Social Dance Online, all those good websites. Um, we are going to bring you an intermediate West Coast Swing class tonight. So we are going to start with just a super simple sugar tuck. And from there, we're going to ramp it up. So this is what we're going to do. Sugar tuck first. We have one, two, three, and four five and six. We're going to do a sugar tuck with a run around for the leader. So one, two, three, and four, five and six. From here, we're going to do a free tuck. So we have one, two, three, and four, five and six. Then we're going to do a uh, tuck whip. So we have one, two, three, and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine, ten, and an anchor step. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna switch quickly going over the sugar tuck. I think everyone is pretty comfy with that, but just to make sure. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. We'll do a sugar push to get out of it. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Cool, one more time. Oh, one, two, three, and four. Five and six, oh, one, two, three, and four, five and six. Can you hear me, Benjamin? Cool. We're going to do that from the other side and then we will continue on. So, a couple of things to think about for the leader. We need to make sure that this hand is lifted by two and it's in its proper position. So, what I mean by that, we have one, two. Our proper position, leaders, is going to be fingers right now to the left. So we are turning our partner this way. Followers, your job is to have your fingers to the sky. So leaders, you can think of your hands like blinkers. From here, left or right, that is the direction that she will be turning. So from here, she's gonna go away for four, five, and six. Let's do that all together. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Cool. And then from here, make sure that we are finding that connection or trying to on four. It's a little bit difficult with a rotation, but really try to aim to find that connection on the four. So one, two, three, and four. We come down, five, and six. So we know exactly where our partner is going to be at all times. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Throughout that pattern. All right, so now we are going to do a sugar tuck with a leader's runaround. So what that looks like, we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. That whole time maintaining the connection here. So followers, make sure that you're finding the connection and leaders, make sure that your hands aren't going all over the place. So let's do that from this side once and then we will break it down. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We still end up in that regular tuck position with the hands on top leader. So let's just do a sugar push out of that. We'll get fancy later. All right, so leaders, what I'm thinking about from here, it's a normal tuck up till four. So one, two, three, and four. On four, I'm gonna start to kind of creep into her space instead of staying on my normal side. So let's just do that again. We have one, two, three, and four. So it's actually more of a side step to allow me to step back for the other ones for five and six. So don't make a huge circle around, just make sure that you are missing your partner and you don't necessarily run into them. So she's gonna stay on the spot, you're going around, that's your job. We have one, two, three and four. We step side, then we back it up for five and six. However big those need to be is up to you. Just make sure that you maintain the connection with your partner on the uh, five and six. So followers, for you, you're gonna come forward like a normal tuck. You have one, two, three, and four. From here, you're gonna rotate around for your triple, five and six. Cool, so how do you feel a difference between a normal tuck and this one? It's going to be the connection. The other kind of giveaway is that you're going to see your leader kind of 
creep a little bit further past you than normal, which might give it away at that point. So one, two, three, and four from here. Followers, your job is to maintain that connection. Leaders, keep that hand where it is so it does go around her head. Do not bonk her head. Then five and six, <laughs> or her hairdo like I just did. So let's try that again from this side. Stop on four, and then we'll talk about a couple things. So one, two, three, and four. At this point, I want to be pretty much in line with her so she can stay on the spot, and my five and six goes, to, goes straight past her. So let's try it on this side. We have one, two, three, and four. We back it up, five and six. We've got a fantastic connection here that we have found the entire way. Then we're gonna do a sugar push, three and four, five and six to get out of it. Any questions so far? Awesome, cruising right along. Let's do this one more time. Maybe a couple more times. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. All right. So leaders, remember, you've got to be very, very proactive on that four to ensure that you get all the way around in just those counts. You only have two counts to get around. So from here, one, two, three, and four. We back it up, five, and six. Anything for the follower? Um, so followers, when you're going around, no matter where this connection is, I'm going to go away from it. So if Emily keeps going around, so will I. And at this point, I'm just trying to find the away connection. So you want to make sure that you're always trying to connect towards or away. Cool. One more time. So we have a one, two, three, and four, five, and six. All righty. Now we are going to go into our next tuck. Let's do the free tuck first, and then we're going to do a whip. <laughs> so the next one we're going to do is actually a no hands ma tuck. So we have a one, two, three, and four. We catch again. What is that name again? Slowly. <laughs> it's a no hands ma tuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just made it up. So we have one, <laughs> two, three, and four, five, and six. So leaders, you want, again, you want to be proactive about finding that connection again, and followers, make sure that you are giving them something to connect to. So just because you don't necessarily know what's going on, you're going to revert back to your basic, um, to one of your basics. So you have one, two, three, and four, five and six. I am giving, I'm still giving a little bit of, sorry dear, I'm still giving a little bit of a pressure point here so that she knows that she's spinning. It's not just away. So she's going to continue around for five and six and I find that connection as soon as I can. So let's try that from the other side. Same footwork for both of us, but in this one leaders, the hand doesn't go up. So I'm still leading her in that direction, the same away or uh, outside turn, but my hand isn't coming up, which is also a little giveaway that that's not gonna be a normal tuck. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One more time. A one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Yes. Watch oh, oh, good. Okay, so just a normal tuck? Okay. Sure. So the question was, how does the follower know the difference between the, the tuck with the leader's run around and just a normal tuck? On count four. On count four. Cool. 
So a normal tuck, I'm going to stay on my side. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. On the tucks with the leader's run around, as the leader, I'm going to be very, very proactive about moving more, still maintaining that connection so the follower can stay connected that full time, but my four is going to be way more forward and actually more as a sidestep than it would be normally. So we have one, two, three, and four. From here, and I'll do it the other side so you can see, I'm actually more in line with Megan, and then I can step back for five and six to get around. So if we did that from this side, the normal tuck stays here. So we have one, two, three, and four, five and six. I'm staying on my spot for the four, five, and six. Then for the leader's run around, I move the four. So we have one, two, three, and four. From here, I'm aligned with Miss Megan, if not further, depending on how long your legs are. Then from here, we turn around for five and six. Uh, on the lead run around, there's no sort of lead set to the ball or back to the mm. No, there's not. Um, from here, it is a free right hand for the leader, unless you're going into something else, which is coming up. But from this point, one, two, three, and four. It's my job as the leader to keep tone in the arm as it is for the follower. Like Miss Megan said, you're gonna stay connected into that hand, five and six. We've never left that connection that entire time. And no hand on the back. And no hand on the back. So, sorry, do you need the question again? No. Cool. So again, from this side, no hand with the, or no right hand for the leader. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. One other question on the no hand palm. Yeah. Do you pick her up on her back? Like, how do you reconnect? I reconnect from the shoulder down to the arm. So as soon as I see an opening, make sure that she's done enough rotation. So mm -hmm. one, two, three, and four. From here, Sorry. Her left shoulder is very, very close to me. So I'm going to, that is your left, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to make a connection. And then as she rotates around, I'm locked into position. So find the rotation. Do not like hunker down on her. Make sure one, two, three, and four. This is going to trail the back. If you don't have the connection on the left shoulder, make sure that you find it from by the right shoulder, and then that comes all the way down the arm to the hand. So if we did that from this side, we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So leaders, I'm allowing her to find that connection back. I'm still gonna stay in my spot like we are supposed to for a normal sugar tuck and then we find the connection from the shoulder to the hand. One more time from this side. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Sweet. All right, we are quickly gonna go over just a regular whip because that's gonna come in handy, and then we're gonna add the tuck and the whip together. So, normal whip. This is our eight count pattern, the first one of the evening. We have one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more time, we have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do it from the other side, and then we'll break it down. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So leaders, your footwork very quickly. We have off the track for one, two, three, and four. We step across, five, six, seven, and eight. One more time. So with the arm, you're bringing your follower forward and turning by that two. So you have one, two, three, and four. We turn five, six, seven, and eight. Miss Megan's gonna do the follower's footwork. So she steps forward for one, turns back for two, Back together, forward, pivot, back, back, 
and an anchor step. So if we did that with counts, we have a one, back two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we're gonna each do our part not touching and then we will try it together again. Here we go. We have a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. All righty. One more time together, and then we're going to put the tuck and the whip together. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now is the time, challenge round. We are going to do a no hands ma tuck into the whip. Here's what it looks like. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, and an anchor step. Technically, it's a reverse whip, but that's okay. I didn't realize till just now. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> reverse whips are cool, too. We'll go over the footwork in a second. So, one more time. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So let's just get to four of the tuck and we're gonna stop there. From here, we have one, two, three, and four. So we're gonna cheat a little bit around like we did for the leader's run around and we're gonna catch the back of the follower. So five and six. Let's talk about that. From here, the followers are gonna continue around in that free tuck like they did before. The only thing that's different are the leaders are going to pick up or guide down the slot this time with her right shoulder. So from here, we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now, she's over her left side from here. She has done the tuck. Fully done the tuck, but I've taken her out on that last step. So let's try that again. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. At this point, I'm in the three and four of my whip. So we have three and four of the whip, then we finish it, five, six, seven, and eight. I know those counts were a little wonky, but I was trying to get you to know where you were in the whip. So let's try that again. Just get to six and stop. So one, two, three and four, five and six. So I'm stepping down the line with my partner. I'm on my right foot, she's on her left foot. She's now gonna spin over the left shoulder, triple step. So that is the four of our normal whip. Then we finish it out for five, six, seven and eight. So let's do that from the other side. Let's just do six and stop. We have a one two, three, and four, five, and six. So I'm slightly ahead of her. She's going to go into my right hand like a normal whip, triple step. Yes, then we finish it out. Walk, walk, triple step. I thought it was super cool. Something to do with the tuck. Let's try it again without stopping this time. So we have one, two, three, and four five and six, seven and eight, nine, ten, anchor step. Let's try it from the other side. All right, so leaders, again, the night of being proactive. You have to guide her forward on six, and then you have to make sure that your right hand is available to catch her for the rest of the whip. So from here, one, two, three, and four. Four. I am looking for that rotation again as soon as possible. Five and six, so I can lead her forward. Triple step. Then we have walk, walk, triple step. So followers, for you, you are continuing around in that tuck until you feel the pickup from the leader. So leaders, make sure you grab her. If not, it's a no hands ma, not grab, guide. <laughs> it's a no hands ma tuck if you miss her. So <laughs> one, two, 
three and four. If you don't get there, you're like, oh, just kidding. That's what I was doing. So if you are on the ball and proactive about this, we have one, two, three, and four. We pick her up, five and six. We guide her to the right hand, seven and eight. Then we spin, nine, 10, anchor, step. Any questions? Cool, let's do it again. All right, so we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, a nine, 10, 11, and 12. Did a light bulb go off, Benjamin? Okay, we're gonna do it from this side. There's noises going on behind the camera. I don't know what's happening. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So leaders with your footwork, I'm gonna do the footwork for just a second. We have the tuck, so we have one, two, three, and four. We're gonna cr not creep around. We're going to proactively step by our uh, follower's side. Then we have our triple step. This is our three and four of the whip. So triple step. We trade her to the right hand. Then we come around, walk, walk, and triple step. One more time, then Megan will do the follower's footwork. So we've got one, two, three, and four, five, and six to step down the line with her, seven, and eight. We continue, nine, 10, and anchor step. Miss Megan's up with the follower's footwork. So we do the free tuck first until we feel the guide to go forward. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, making sure that that left side is forward. So like Miss Megan said, it is like a reverse whip, not necessarily the other whip that we did, same difference. So we have and triple step, we pivot back, and back and an anchor step. The only thing that changed is the very beginning of the whip. Let's try that again. So we have a one, two, free tuck, around and five and six over the left, and two, back, back and an anchor step. Okay, let's try this again and then we will do everything that we did today. We have a one, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine, 10, anchor step. Are we all good? Sure, a couple of questions. Cool. Um, so Victoria through Facebook uh, was wanting a little bit of clarification on the reverse whip with the pass. Got it. We will do the reverse whip. So clarification for the reverse whip, a regular whip is the one that we did earlier, the reverse whip, After the six. So once we get to six, we'll get through the tuck and we'll stop and then we'll start with the reverse turn. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six. At this point, this is when the reverse part of the whip starts, trip, full step, then the rest is the same. Walk, walk, trip, full step. Count six is count two of what your regular reverse whip would be. So one, two, that's count two of a regular reverse whip, count six of this pattern, and then we go into that turn. Um, the next question was, how does the follower know if they're going to the free hand or the whip? So you're forward on six, you can technically do a free spin out of that? Oh, how do they the know? Hand. by the hand. So, good question. The question was, how does the follower know whether they are going into a free spin after being led forward on the six, or if they're going into the whip? and it's all about the right hand. So from here, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, leaders. That's why you need to have this hand ready. You're gonna do a handoff, trip, full, step. If that hand is not there, she's gonna go into a free spin because again, as a good follower, she's gonna continue to go in a rotation or a direction until told otherwise. So from here, we'll do it again, one, two, three and four, five and six. We switch the hand, seven and eight, nine, 10, anchor step. Sweet, all right. 
So let's review everything we did. We're not going to do the sugar tuck because I think we're all good with that. So we did the sugar tuck with the leaders run around. We did the no hands ma tuck. And then we did the tuck whip. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we did the, the uh, free tuck or the no hands ma because that's more fun. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we did the tuck whip. So we started with the tuck. One, two, three, and four. We pick her up. Five and six, seven and eight, nine, ten, and anchor step. All right. That was a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But a super fun pattern. You don't need a lot of space for these. So I thought that'd be something fun that you can do while you're on lockdown with this crazy coronavirus. Um, Please keep tuning in. This is a lot of fun for us. We are lucky to be able to do it for you guys. So thank you so much for your support. Um, excuse me. Nope, that's it. Just the last one. All of it. Did I start on this time? Mm -hmm. So one more time, recap from the top in a different angle. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And we have the tuck whip. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, and an anchor step. Sweet. All right. So we will be back tomorrow with some nightclub, beginner and intermediate classes. If you want to see anything, I know we just did a line dance class last night. It was super fun. You don't need a partner for that, obviously. So if you want to see more stuff like that, please let us know. You can put it in the comments. You can email us, brian at westcoastswingonline.com. Um, if you did do the 32 count choreography thing from or class from last Saturday, Megan and I did that, um, you can still send in those videos. So you can send it in via Messenger, West Coast Swing Online, uh, Facebook Messenger, or you can email us the files not too big to brian at westcoastswingonline.com. So I think that's it. Take care, guys. We will see you back tomorrow. Uh, my name is Miss Emily. This is Miss Megan from West Coast Swing Online. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>